17 people died in the Bronx over the weekend due to an apartment fire caused by a portable electric space heater, a device that is common in many households, especially during these winter months. So how can you ensure your family is safe while using one? Amel Elhouse spoke with a fire safety expert today and has more on this now for us. Amel. Katrina, the fatal fire over the weekend has many communities talking about the use of space heaters and some housing advocates are saying these devices wouldn't be necessary in the first place if landlords properly heated houses as they are required to per New York state law. Kiana Dunaway was without heat all last year and used a space heater for warmth. She wonders what would have happened if the heater caused a fire to break out just like it did in the Bronx this past weekend. What if something like that happened? And what if I couldn't get into my kids in time to get them out of the house? Dunaway says she was without heat for so long because her landlord wasn't taking proper precautions. By law, you are supposed to heat up to make sure that the house has heat in it, especially in the winter time. You definitely are supposed to. I've, I've definitely said that to them um, numerous times in text messages and emails and maintenance requests. New York State requires landlords to provide heat at 68 degrees between the months of October and May. When a tenant is complaining that they don't have adequate heat, their landlord is actually breaking the law. We hear this multiple, multiple times a week. I believe it's one of the biggest complaints we have in Rochester. We are deeply afraid that if landlords are not held accountable in Rochester, another fire like this could occur could occur here. And if you are planning to use a space heater in your home, Fire Chief Mike Terzo says there are several precautions you need to follow to prevent a tragedy from occurring. Children should not pass in fires and just because we had, you know, malfunction and use of poor use of a space heater, you know, hopefully we could reach the community out there and get people more educated about space heaters, get them more educated about, you know, proper use and the safe use associated with it to where we don't have to see that around here. It's, it's very devastating to see children pass away in a fire. Some of those precautions include plugging it directly into a wall, ensuring it is not within three feet of a combustible material, and purchasing a space heater with a tip-over switch. If you find yourself in a position where you are using space heaters because your rented home is without heat, Singh says you can call code enforcement at 311 for assistance. From the newsroom, Amal al Hal, News 8. Amal, thank you. Singh adds New York State's eviction moratorium is set to end on Saturday, which can make this issue of staying warm, warm worse as many are at risk of being evicted with nowhere to go.